Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing <laughs> the Undercover by Jun Takahashi Fall Winter 21 Blazer Cardigan Jacket that I proxied using Zen Market from Unstitched Japan. Yes, guys. Well, yeah, it's got quite a lengthy title, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's it's hard to summarize this piece in a couple short wo uh, words, really. So what we have in this box today is the Undercover by Jun Takahashi Fall Winter 21 uh, Blazer Cardigan Jacket, basically. So. Uh, what Jun Takahashi did for his Fall Winter 21 season was think, let's grab a wool blazer and a wool cardigan and mash them together and see how that looks. And I thought, you know what? I like it. <laughs> I like the look. So with the money that I got from uh, my refunded Chrome Hearts ring that I bought from Alu Japan, uh, I went ahead and bought this blazer from Unstitched Japan and proxied it using Zen Market. Like I've showcased to you guys how I do that. I've, you know, I've got many videos referencing that, a whole video explaining that whole process. Uh, that's what I did. And uh, yeah, I picked this one up in a size five. I am a little worried because like blazers are meant to be tight. They're meant to be quite form fitting. They're meant to, you know, show off those big shoulders. We have fellas, you know, it's meant to show off all the goods, um, but yeah, even though this is the biggest size, a 2XL, a size 5, uh, the measurements of it, it is very, very close to my uh, Capital Feather denim jacket in a size 4. So I know how this is going to fit. It's going to be a very tight fit, but it should look good. Um, yeah, and I'm very keen to unbox it and showcase it to you today, guys. Um, I wanted to pick up more blazers and uh yeah well basically more blazers and more formal wear from undercover and my favorite japanese brands because um these days i'm working the nine to five monday to friday in the office button up on i wanted to spice it up i wanted to add some of my love and flair for fashion into my working life because well i spend most of my time there now <laughs> you know monday to friday i'm at the office saturday sunday i'm at home so I, start need, I need to start buying clothing that is more for the 9 to 5. So, yeah, that was basically my justification for the blazer, why I picked this piece up. And, I mean, I didn't have to spend any new funds on it because I, I spent the old funds from the uh, refunded Chrome Hearts ring. So, I mean, that kind of all work, worked out nicely. I was like, ah, oh, if I can't get some Chrome Hearts, I'll get a nice undercover blazer. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, also quite surprising of me to buy a piece from the Fall Winter 21 season that isn't a Marcus Akeson piece. <laughs> But I will be getting more of those in the future, for sure. I still want, you know, all the trench coats. Uh, I've even considered getting the puffer jacket. Like, I still want his pieces from that season. They're fantastic pieces, and I will get them further down the line. But, uh, yeah, well, let's get into it, guys. Let's unbox uh, this wool cardigan blazer and see how it looks. Now, quite obviously, uh, to showcase this piece on body as well, I'm going to have to get chain uh, chained changed uh, because wearing a blazer with some sweatpants and a Uniqlo shirt is not exactly going to be the look that I'm going for. <laughs> so I'll have to dress up in the old button up and the old uh, suit pants because yeah, it's just going to look a little bit foreign uh, if I decide to rock it with what I'm wearing at the moment. But um, yeah, just thought I'd mention that because we will have to have a pretty significant wardrobe change up to wear this piece. But yeah, I'm very keen to see how it fits on me, see how it looks. Uh, the material choice of wool is really going to kick me in the ass uh, moving forward though, because this is the last month of winter and we're moving into spring, summer. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it in the next six months. But for next year, you know, like I'll, I'll have it in my wardrobe. It'll be there. I'm not going to ever get rid of it. So, yeah, I mean, it'll be a good investment piece for further down the line, for sure. Um, they've also, Jun Takahashi has also done a Kupro lining and then the wool exterior. So, ooh, it's going to feel amazing on body 
and then the exterior is going to keep me nice and warm during winter. It's, it, yeah, awesome material choice by Jun Takahashi there. So, here we are. Unbox it from the bottom. We will take this bad boy out. Look at the packaging. Look at the Zen Market. They always making sure that I get my stuff safely from Unstitched Japan with no issues. Look at that. Oh, okay. Well, there's their little, the little thing. There we go. Zen Market, guys. Definitely use their proxying service. You know me. I'm a, I'm a huge supporter of them. Huge fan of their work. Love them. They are lovely, lovely people there. So, there we go. Okay, so we've got that out. Here it is here. Wrapped up quite nicely. Grab the scissors. I gotta be very careful though. I don't wanna accidentally chop anything that doesn't, well, actually maybe I won't, won't use the scissors for exactly that. We'll uh, just tear apart the bag because I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk anything. <laughs> so here we are. There's more packaging. Wrap that down here. Yeah, hopefully it fits okay. I'm a little bit, I'm gonna be real. I'm a little bit nervous that it won't um, because it's it, how, of how small it is. But I mean, it's basically the same measurements as my capital feather denim jacket, so I shouldn't be stressing too much. Okay, oh god, it's got another bag. Sorry guys, we're bags on bags on bags at the moment. Okay, Whew. we're getting somewhere, we're making progress. Okay, ooh, that wool feels fantastic. So, here's the piece. I know, very anticlimactic, very, very black though. A very, very black piece. Okay, wow, it's actually quite well folded up as- ooh! I just put my hand in that lining. Oh, that Cupro lining is crazy. Crazy. Okay, I'll see if I can showcase it to you. So, oh geez, where's the... Okay. I thought it was going to be really, really heavyweight wool. But it's actually pretty me like medium weight. Pretty, like, lighter than I thought it was going to be. When I hear wool, I'm like, this is going to be really, really heavy. No, this feels... Fantastic. The material choice, oh my god. They've done a really, really good job for it. I don't know if I can... Yeah, how can I... Yeah. Oh, I'll try and showcase it to you the best that I can off body, and then we'll obviously chuck it on body. So as we can see, here is the piece here. Um, see, look at that sheen on that, that Cupro lining. Ooh! <laughs> if a jacket has Cupro lining, I'm on board, man. It, it'll look fantastic. We can see on the front, we have the button detailing of the blazer underneath and then the cardigan over the top. Now, it's all attached. I don't think you can yet. Yeah. As you can see up here, up on the shoulder area, it's all attached. You can't take off the, the cardigan off the blazer itself. But um, yeah, no, nah, that's fine. That, it, it's the look that I wanted. I actually wanted this like overlayed look of the cardigan on top of the blazer. We've got a little pocket up here. Um, we've got, what I quite like is like the cardigan detailing down the bottom here. And then obviously the blazer underneath. We've got, I'll undo the buttons so I can show you the tags. Get that one done. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So, the Cupro lining uh, is mainly across the shoulders, as we can see. It's not down the lower back. Um, it's along the front of the chest as well. We have an inner pocket on the right-hand side. We have a left pocket on the uh, left-hand side. Awesome. I love double pockets. You know, more pockets, the merrier. Happy with that. Um, where is the tags on this piece? Oh, jeez. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, they're hidden inside the left pocket. Which makes sense. Undercover tags are always on the left side of the piece. They didn't put them down here on the lining of the piece to put them in the left pocket. That makes sense. Uh, there's a lot of different materials, but I'll showcase it to you the best I can. Okay. Let's see if we can get those tags up for people. Trying to legit check any pieces there. Okay. Undercover, limited, made in Japan. There is the item number. I mean, again, I could just make this video really boring and said, I'm unboxing the UC2A4104-1. <laughs> but yeah, that is the piece. Size 5, as we can see, 2XL. Surface, 100% wool. Partly, 100% wool. Lining, 100% Cupro. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> we love that material choice. Okay, guys. Well, now that I've kind of unboxed and showcased it off-body, let's chuck it on and see how it looks on-body. Okay guys, here we are. Welcome to <laughs> the day in the life of me being in the office. 
<laughs> this is, I mean, this is generally how I dress, you know, the Uniqlo um, button up that I unboxed on the channel a while ago. Very nice button up, loving these. Um, I'm like, it's just a really nice fit. This is an extra large on me. Um, I could have maybe gone to 2XL, but you know, I'm trying to lose weight, trying to get even thinner. So I think an XL is good for me and it'll continue being good for me when I lose a little bit of weight as well. And obviously, now that we've got the whole get up, the whole ensemble, dress pants, button up shirt, we've got to get the big piece on, which I know still on the camera, it still looks like just like a giant black blob of wool, but I'll show you the technical details in a second. <laughs> so here we are, here is the piece, and it is fantastic. It is a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I thought it was gonna weigh like a kilo, two kilos. It's probably closer to like, maybe a kilo max. And technically you're wearing two jackets here because you're wearing the blazer and the cardigan as well. But anyway, I'll showcase it to you on body. Um, I was very worried because of the shoulder width and the width of this piece that it wasn't gonna fit me because, um, yeah, just because the measurements were very close to my capital denim feather jacket and that fits me quite well. It's just, yeah, I just had concerns. But the concerns can be put away because, I'll just try and, again, look, the shoulder width. It's, oh, luckily, it, it does feel like I've got a lot of movement and I can move around in it quite comfortably. So, here it is unbuttoned. We'll get into the total details of it. So Cupro lining along here and here and across the shoulders, very well thought out. Uh, on the inside, as mentioned, we have a pocket here and a pocket where the tag is and everything like that over here. Lots of pockets, but in typical Jun Takahashi fashion, he's given us more pockets than I'll ever need in my life. So we'll do the blazers buttons up first. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this does feel, um, how do I put it? Not crushing me, but I can feel the, uh, the restraint. You know, look, I'm even struggling to get this, this button up. I have to focus on it. There we go. So, here is just the blazer buttoned up. I actually really like this look. This is a really nice look. Although I was getting kind of like 1920s, World War One gangster vibes from it <laughs> but maybe that's just me maybe that's just because i've shaved head and look like a criminal of sorts but you know I, I was kind of getting that vibe wearing it but it is a very very nice blazer um of course with the blazer section we have two button uh two pockets right here very roomy pockets there is like i can fit my whole hand in here and more like you could put a lot in here not that i would actually put anything in these pockets but hey you have the option to if you'd like. So that is all of the blazers details. Let's dive into the second layer of the piece, the cardigan, which I will pull down just along here. This is a very, very lightweight wool. Like I'm gonna be 100% real with you. I thought it was gonna be a lot heavier. It's quite lightweight. Now the struggles of this is, is that I'm gonna make sure it goes under the lapels and then I gotta button it over the top of this. And this is where it feels like it gets really tight but we'll try and showcase that to you okay here we are then we'll do the second button here there's actually okay so there's three buttons on the blazer and four on the cardigan so i've got to remember that i keep forgetting to do the bottom one up but there's the bottom one there okay bam 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 so that's it completely buttoned up as you can see it's quite tight um it's just yeah 54.5 centimeters from here to here. It's quite tight around my chest area, but it hugs it nicely. Um, it just looks quite bulgy over here because I have pockets on pockets on pockets over the top of it. Do you see what I mean? Like around this area here, it's a bit bulgy because there's just pockets on pockets on pockets here. Like, yeah, it does look, I think it looks nicer when you unbutton the cardigan and you just button up the blazer itself. I'd love to hear your thoughts, but I think that's the best way uh, to, to approach this. I think having the cardigan unbuttoned, so we'll just unbutton it again. God, I've got to go through four buttons. There's so many buttons on this piece, man. Oh my God. Okay. I think having the cardigan unbuttoned and just like down and out like this looks a lot nicer. I See what I mean? I think that looks a lot nicer. Um, the shoulder width, is actually spot on. Maybe I should be a 47 or a 48 when it comes to the shoulder width. Maybe I've been uh, 
incorrect in my measurements where I've been saying I want pieces with 50 centimeters in the shoulder width, because this feels fine. Like I've got full range of motion, no issues. Although it is, I don't know. Do you, do you guys, yeah, do you, you see it, don't you? The, the shoulder there, this, don't know why the fabric is doing that on the shoulders. It's not because it was on a coat rack or anything. That's just like how it is. That does look a little bit odd. Okay. I, again, I'm nitpicking these small details, but all in all, I think it looks fantastic. Like, I love this. This is crazy. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this to work. I could actually wear this in spring summer because it's not as heavy as I thought it was, but in saying that, because of how tight it is, it might cause me to be a little bit sweaty. So yeah, if it's like a cold day, I should wear it. If not, maybe just leave it. But uh, yeah, wow, I, this piece is fantastic. I'll also showcase, so the cardigan has pockets down here, which again are massive. Look at this, it's, it's huge, it's massive. Then of course, as mentioned before, we've got a pocket up here. If I need to hide it, like you could fit so much into this jacket, it's crazy. But um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, guys. How do we feel? Do I look like a, what did I say, 1920s gangster? I kind of look like, I kind of feel like the Monopoly man. I don't know. <laughs> In a way, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just getting this, the vibes, you know, the old man vibes. But it's, a, like, I love it. This is an awesome piece. And yeah, wow, the material choice. When I saw it on paper, Cooper and wool, I thought the Cooper is going to be super soft. The wool might be super rugged and heavy. Nah, they've gone with a really lightweight wool. It's an awesome piece. Um, it hugs me quite well. Hopefully when I lose uh, some more weight in the coming months, uh, it'll fit a lot nicer. But in saying that, it's wool, so it's gonna have a little bit of, um, a little bit of give. So as I wear it, it will, you know, expand. Um, the shoulders and the, the sleeves and everything are perfect. Like, I have no issues, no complaints full range of motion as you can see like it's yeah the measurements for this are fantastic i've actually quite surprised how well it turned out but um let me know guys how do you feel about the undercover by jun takahashi fall winter 21 wool knit blazer jacket do you like it do you not like it would love to hear any thoughts and opinions you have on this piece down in that comment section below well, there we go, guys. It's completely unboxed. I actually really like it. This, it's really, it feels comfy. I'm sitting down now. I'm, you know, <laughs> got it on. It feels, it feels comfy. It's really nice how it actually uh, hugs my, um, I guess my rib cage. I would say the width is just really, really nice. Like, like it, it's the materials, the fit. I'm. I'm gonna be picking more up if I can find them in my in a size five, man. It's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. But the problem is, is that if I go past like the fall winter 2018 season where the, like size fives were non-existent and the sizing was really small, I'm not gonna be able to get blazers from previous seasons before that because it's just gonna be way too small. The shoulder width's gonna be ridiculous. The actual width itself is gonna be crazy. But this was also a really good test of my limitations that I could have on, I guess, the sizing. Like now I know that I would not want to go below a width of 54.5 centimeters. Uh, my shoulder width, I probably want no smaller than 47 centimeters. And the length of 71 centimeters was a, um, a good length for the peak. Um, the sleeve length of 68 was also a good sleeve length as well. Like it's, yeah, just, just all around, just an awesome piece. Fantastic. I'm really happy I picked this one up and I'll be wearing this one to work all the time. Like I've, I definitely will, <laughs> you know, like it'll be my go-to blazer. And then, you know, if I see any other ones from previous seasons, might pick them up and spice it up, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's awesome stuff, man. So, um, well. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, guys. Uh, do you own any of the blazers from any uh, undercover seasons? Are you looking to pick this one up? There is a size three of this one available on, on Unstitched as well. So if you want to pick it up, I would head on to, I'm going to link the uh, page for the one that I bought, but you can obviously go to the store page and then just find the size three of this, but there is a size three available. Um, so get on it, get on it if you're a size three and those measurements for the size three fit. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it though, guys. Is it too corporate for you? Not street enough? Not your, your type of thing? Let me know how you feel about it in that comment section below. 
And of course, if you guys want me to do more unboxing videos, uh, picking up more undercover, whatever it may be, you just gotta give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, of course. We're literally one sub away from the subscriber milestone of 3,420. We are so close, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, by the time I get this video up, one of you guys will tell a mate to sub or something like that, but we are so close. Tell your mates, get them around the channel. I think we can hit 3,420 before the end of August. But that's everything I got to say about this blazer. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm going to be scouring, you know, secondhand uh, Japanese stores to find more that um, are in my size because this is fantastic. I love this. I'm going to be wearing it all the time. I actually need to keep making sure that the lapels are over the top of the cardigan. Jeez. Oh no, here it is. Yep. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> I love it. It's it's awesome. Ooh, and with a black tie. <laughs> anyway guys let me know how you feel about it uh if you want me to do more unboxing videos or more undercover pickups let me know in the comment section below but uh until the next unboxing video until the next undercover video until the next streetwear talk video in general guys i'll catch you later